Saint Peter of Verona, also known as Saint Peter Martyr, was a 13th century Italian Catholic priest. He was a Dominican friar and a celebrated preacher. He became famous for moving people to conversion through his preaching and miracles. He served as an inquisitor in Lombardy, was killed by an assassin, and was canonized as a Catholic saint 11 months after his death, making this the fastest canonization in history. Thomas Agni of Leontino, Dominican Archbishop of Cosenza, and later Patriarch of Jerusalem, was the first to write a life of the blessed martyr. He lived for many years with Peter of Verona and had been his superior. Peter was born at Verona, Italy in 1205. Both of his parents were Catharists, a heresy that denied God created the material world. Even so, Peter was educated at a Catholic school and later at the University of Bologna. At 16, St. Peter became a Dominican upon hearing the teaching of St. Dominic. While in Bologna, Peter was accepted to the Dominican order by St. Dominic. Peter joined the Order of the Friars Preachers, also known as the Dominicans. He dedicated himself wholeheartedly to religious life. He spent his days in study or prayer or serving the sick. He grew into a successful preacher and was well known for his inspiring sermons in the Lombardy region. Peter often began his sermons with these famous words. Forty days are granted to Nineveh to convert, or it will be destroyed. He would start preaching and say, O oh, city of Milan, O oh, Parma, you are another Nineveh. Convert to God, do penance for your sins, because if you do not do it, you will soon be ruined and the scourge of God will come upon you. With this zeal, he moved the people to penance. Peter preached on church stairs and public places, and people loved and honored him. So many people were eager to hear him and be near him that he was often nearly crushed by the crowds that rushed together when he appeared. In his sermons, he denounced heresy and also those Christians who professed the faith by words but acted contrary to it in deeds. Crowds came to meet him and followed him. Conversions were numerous. In 1234, Peter was appointed a judicial officer of the Milan area, and in 1251, Peter made the head of the judicial in most of northern Italy, including Venice, Genoa, Bologna, and the province of Marche di Ancona. This appointment gave Peter an even wider context in which to defend and promote the faith. Sorry for interrupting the video. I am here to deliver a quick message. If you think our channel has given you $5 worth of knowledge, then can you take a moment to make a donation? Please don't skip the video. 99.8% of our viewers simply skip this, or many think they will donate later and forget. If you make a small donation now, then we can keep making good videos like this one. You can choose to support us through Patreon or make a one-time donation through PayPal. The links are given in the description box below. If you are one of our rare donors, we warmly thank you. You have shown the world access to good content matters to you. Thanks again and God bless. He was also a strong, and discreet guide for nuns and worked to get more women to become Dominican nuns.
his efforts created a number of enemies, as can be imagined, and they soon began to threaten his life. A group of Milanese Carthers conspired to kill him. They hired an assassin, Juan Carino of Balsam. Peter realized that he had been made the target by his enemies. When he preached on Palm Sunday in 1252, he announced that a price had been placed on his head. Let them do their worst, he said. I shall be more powerful dead than alive. Peter was traveling with another Dominican brother through the woods between towns when they were followed by assassins. The two assassins followed Peter to a lonely spot near Barlacena. One of the killers, a man named Carino, struck Peter on the head with an axe. Peter fell to the ground, wounded terribly, but still conscious. Carino then attacked Peter's companion. Peter rose to his knees and recited the first article of the symbol of the apostles, offering his blood as a sacrifice to God. According to legend, he dipped his fingers in it and wrote on the ground, Credo in Deum, I believe in God, the first words of the Apostles' Creed. Carino struck him again and killed him. The other Dominican brother died five days later. Carino, the assassin, fled to a distant town, but was overwhelmed with shame at his actions. He repented of his crime and turned from the heresy that had inspired his opposition to Peter. He even later joined the Dominicans himself. St. Peter was martyred at the age of 47. His character was rounded out by an admirable strength of will and a mind so judiciously balanced that he neither shrank from duty, whatever the sacrifice, or even danger it involved, nor allowed his heart to control his judgment. St. Peter was canonized less than a year after his death, the fastest canonization ever. St. Peter of Verona, you were the wonder-working preacher who was assassinated for opposing heresy. Pray for us. Hello, viewers. Here are some quick updates about our ongoing productions. We have been losing supporters because of the current economic conditions. But don't worry. We will be releasing the next episode from the Miracles of Mary series, Our Lady of Lord, in the next few weeks. As for Stories of Saints, we have released four videos in the last month. We have also started a new channel. Saints for Adults, wherein we will feature some exclusive new shows as well. Kindly support us by subscribing to this channel. Thanks again, and God bless.